our crew on the polar looks like they're making their approach toward the dock. We got our guy in the bow on the ready. And a couple people on the dock. Looks like we're gonna get an assist. Cap swings the stern around. We can see the wind's blowing. Gonna go for the line handoff. Oh, Cap hits the gas! And they're trying to push it off. Man down, man down! As they're trying to keep the boat off of the dock. Our guy takes the fall. But they will get the boat around. Welcome back, crew, to the greatest show on earth, and that's the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, and today we are down here at Black Point. So this is bad luck for this crew. As they were approaching the dock, the motor just died out on them, and now they're just stuck, sitting here floating down at the dock. And we got Little Man coming in for the dock attempt. Mom and Dad going to give the assist, it looks like, but now they're going to keep him up there. He tried to step away from the wheel. Mom pulls him back over. He's like, no, bro, you got it. Let's see how he handles the pressure. So dad's giving a little instruction, brings the wheel around. Mom's going to the bow for the assist. And bam, our kid looks like he's gonna land it. If you need any lessons on how to dock a boat, little man will be around the rest of the day. Just come find him down here at the dock. So our floater who's just been hanging out down at the end after their motor died, finally gets the assist as this contender came over to give him a hand. I'm gonna be honest though, this would not be the dock I would be trying to pull somebody onto. Not with the concrete wall on the other side. Things always get a little hectic and a little out of hand down on this end. So they're trying to stay close, but I would probably give myself a little more room. And here we go, we can see it already. Our guy on the concrete wall is helping with the push off. But as they pull, they're gonna pull the bow of this other boat back too. need to get another line out so they can just give a toss. And there we go. He's going to try and get it walked around. But this crew floated down there for a few minutes. They kept trying to get it started and just had no success. But you can tell now, too, the contender's starting to push out, and he's going to have to contempt that concrete wall on the starboard side. And we're switching the lines. We're going to try and do the walk around and bring them over to the dock on the other side. And there we go. Our crew should be good to roll from here. So our boys in the formula look ready to roll. Got some lines out. As Cap makes his approach. So we got a guy who's gonna get out on the gunnel. See if he'll go for the step off. This tower's in a funky position. That's one of those ones that makes it a little difficult. Cap brake checks, and he's got one foot on the dock, one foot on the boat. No, steps back over to the boat. Didn't like something about it. And the boat coming in on this side of us as well looks a little bit off. So the formula crew is not on the dock either. Our guy here gets somebody off, but he's going to pull that bow line in. And again, we're going to see the stern line kick out. Goes for the long toss on the stern line. And they get it, but our guys on the formula are going to pull back out. They just did not like the approach. But this crew just got a little sideways, but they were able to get that stern line toss for the save. And our crew's making their final approach. We got some fenders out. We've got somebody in the bow with lines on the ready, so we look prepped. But let's see how ready they are as they actually approach the dock. Good pace. Captain's got the slow roll approach going. Decent bow angle. Gotta be careful. Starting to kick that stern out like we've seen everybody else do. And our girl's on the dock. But again, Cap's going to have to do a little work here. So she's holding him steady at the bow, but he's got to get the stern back around. 
Um, that's not quite the right angle. And our girl in the dock just screamed. Oh, she lost something. She lost her flip-flop. So we have somebody going into the water trying to get it. And Cap's going to leave the helm and walk it over to try and get this one tied up. Crew's on approach, but hopefully they're careful. I don't know if you can hear the guy in the dock. He's letting them know there's actually a manatee right here in front of them on the dock. So they're going to have to use a cautious approach. Probably would even pick another dock. But what they're going to do is Cap's going to leave the helm, go into neutral to not risk any injury to the manatee. And they're going to try and manually pull it over. And here we go with the stretch play. Doing what they can to try and get it around. And I probably, as I mentioned, I would have probably picked another dock had there been an, a manatee or something like that there. But this crew at least tried to play it safe. And they'll get it over and leave room between them and the animal. So our guy's ready to pull out. What is this? Ah, our guy is over prepping a little bit. They haven't even attempted to pull out yet. But he's going ahead and releasing air out of the tires. But right here you can see it's like a freaking skating rink down here at Black Point. And you can see how he slipped just trying to walk around the back of the truck. So by letting the air out, it's going to give him a little more rubber, a little more surface contact patch. That help assist on the pullout. But typically, the strange part of this one is, like I said, I didn't see him try a pull out yet. Oh, oh, he almost went down right there. Once again, it is super slick. So here we go. They're going to finish winching it up. Like I said, they... This was all preempted. Like, in other words, they hadn't even tried the pullout yet. He didn't even have it completely winched onto the trailer. But just knew that they might need a little air out of the tires to try and get up. But as we saw with him as he's walking around down there, it's just super slick down here. And we've seen plenty of trucks go in down here at Black Point. But this guy's decided he's not going to be one of those victims. And he will be able to get out of here. And speaking of getting out of here, we're going to go ahead and get out of here as well. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at the inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, does some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we got Boats vs. Haulover, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Haulover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.